Prove that cos theta over 1 minus sine theta minus 1 over cos theta is equal to tan theta. Hence, find the exact roots of the equation cos theta over 1 minus sine theta minus 1 over cos theta is equal to 3 cot theta in the interval from 0 to pi inclusive. Okay, so we start with the left-hand side, which is cos theta over 1 minus sine theta minus 1 over cos theta. This is a bit more to play with here. Go for a common denominator. But we're not going to multiply out that denominator. We're just going to write it as cos theta times 1 minus sine theta. So this would have to be multiplied by cos theta. That's going to give me cos squared theta. And then up here, being careful because there's a minus sign, put it in brackets, 1 minus sine theta. Now cos squared theta happens to be equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. So we'll replace that, and then we're going to have minus 1 plus sine theta over cos theta times 1 minus sine theta. Now 1 minus 1 will cancel out. So, and we'll, therefore, on the numerator, we're going to have sine theta minus sine squared theta divided by cos theta 1 minus sine theta. Now, if we look at the... Uh, numerator we have a common factor of sine x that so will take sine theta sorry that will become sine theta 1 minus sine theta over cos theta 1 minus sine theta obviously these two now cancel out and we use the idea that sine of theta over cos theta is tan and we get tan theta which is what we were asked to show so it's equal to the left hand side right we now use this to solve this equation uh, equal to free cot theta Okay, so we replace this now with tan theta is equal to 3 cot theta. Uh, tan theta will be 3 divided by cot theta is 1 over tan theta. So tan theta will be 3 over tan theta. Multiplying by tan theta with tan theta, we're going to get tan squared theta is equal to 3. And therefore tan theta will be plus or minus root 3. Now tan to the minus 1 of root 3, you should know, is pi over 3. So we're solving between 0 and pi, but if we do our South Asian Tennis Club, we just need to think of the first and the second, because it's both positive and negative. We don't need to do down here, because they're outside the range. Making our angle with the x-axis, so theta will be pi over 3, or pi minus pi over 3. So the exact solutions will be pi over 3, or 2 pi over 3. This has been a video to show you how to prove an identity and then use that identity to find the exact roots of an equation. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.